the Sports Vote Campaign Podcast. Invest in sports. Hello and welcome back. This is It All Began in the 70s, Episode 7, Growing Up Gifted. So once again, I want to start this by saying this is not uh, any boasting on my part. I had nothing to do with it. Um, I had nothing to do with being put in these programs. I had nothing to do with whatever mental capacity I do or don't have. I was born with it. Um, I did grow up in a period of time when there was focus on these new programs for accelerated learning. And in the Louisiana system, they referred to it as the gifted program, gifted and talented program. As far back as I can remember, um, in my very early grade years, I was in that program. I, they gave me a bunch of standardized tests. And next thing you know, I'm separated from the, um, the rest of the uh, population of students putting these small classes uh, I even attended um, mag- what was called a magnet school back then. I don't know if that still exists. Uh, you know, all of this was a result of, of other forces um, acting upon me, not me. You know, how do you opt into something like this when you're seven or eight years old, which is I'm, I'm pretty sure when it started for me. Um, I just remember many, many of those uh, tests with a little, you know, st- uh, standardized card. You know, they read the test with a machine, so you fill it out with a specifically number two pencil. You know, don't go outside the bubble, that kind of stuff. I can remember endless numbers of those tests. I mean, just over and over and over and over and over again. And teachers and other people looking at the scores and scratching their heads. And I remember one particular test. Um, I'm pretty sure I was like in the third or the fourth grade, and I was already reading reading at a upper grade high school level, like in an 11, 12th grade level when I was, I think, probably in the third or the fourth grade, something like that. Um, so, you know, I didn't know what to make of that at the time. Um, what I do remember about that experience was being separated from the um, the main student body, and it felt to me, about the same as uh, the kids that were having struggling, you know, learning disability kids. Um, I got along better with that group than I did with the main student body because we were the oddballs. And uh, what I guess I have learned from that over time is that uh, if no matter where you are outside of whatever the accepted norms and averages are, uh, you know, society looks at you kind of strange. It doesn't matter whether it's high or whether it's low. Um, you know, I I remember um, telling one of my guidance counselors, you know, like almost feeling like I had been sentenced to some kind of penalty uh, being put in the, in these programs and that why couldn't I just um, be with the rest of the kids in the main student body and, and enjoy playing football and all these other things that they do. Why Why am I in these special classes? And she said to me, uh, later on in life, it's going to make all the difference in the world. And most of these kids that you uh, grew up with are going to be either dead or in jail or in some miserable job. And I remember thinking at the time, you know, that's a cute story. And what a nice person you are to try to make me feel better. But I didn't buy it. Didn't buy it at all. So uh, my life story has definitely been a different trajectory um, than the average person for sure. Uh, But it all started with these, um, you know, when I was separated out, was in the very early stage. Uh, It was just a product of how the system, you know, the standardized testing system, when you get scored at a certain level, you get separated, right? Whether it's up or down, whether you're in the above average or below average, you get pulled out. At least you did in this system here um, back in the uh, in the 70s when I was in grade school. So that's all I have for today. Thank you uh, for listening. If you'd like to support this work or uh, you would like to look at our resource list, it's in the show notes at the bottom. And again, thank you for your time and have a great day. Bye now.